I think any innovative new business of the Crown is quite a challenge. So when the going gets tough, how do you keep going? <laughs> you flex your muscles of adversity. <laughs> I think just by the nature of diving into uh, being an entrepreneur is you have to have that risk taking uh, sort of pump in your blood. So when the going does get tough, you just have to be able to pull your bootstraps up a little bit and be able to continue to dive in. But I think one of the other important things too is to, um, for me at least, to remove yourself a little bit from the situation. So sometimes when that happens, I found that it's really been helpful for me to just take a moment, step outside of the office, take, take a moment, step outside of the situation and go jump into the ocean and just take a little bit of a breather and it acts as a reset button. Uh, and I find that I can go back to the situation with a lot more clarity, uh, make sure that I'm making the right move moving forward. What words of advice or inspiration would you like to share with up and coming young women leaders? <laughs> Other than go for it, <laughs> we need you out there to be able to bring your innovations to life. Uh, I think honestly that's one of the biggest ones is, is too often we will shrink ourselves and we have these big grand ideas but then that self-doubt creeps in and we stunt ourselves before we even have the opportunity to really be able to get started and, and really get it going. So. Um, I think it's in that balance of listening to yourself and also not listening to your own inner critic. So definitely continuing with those ideas and, and pursuing that because whatever creation that these up and coming women are going to be able to do, uh, that needs to be out in the world and there's going to be a big benefit to that.